on. Hello, um, my name is Jim Rockford, and uh, I'm here to introduce this fellow. That's all I'm here to do. This is Axel Goodbuff. Axel, what do you have for us today? Do you have anything? Oh, yes I do. I have some wonderful things for you today. One of the great guests we have on today is a uh, interesting chap. Interesting chap who, in fact, makes his pants disappear. Here we have Cliff Rockbush. Come out, Cliff, as you see. Yes, there's a gym there. Alright, so have a seat, have a seat. So, I hear you have pants that constantly disappear. What is the deal with this? <clears throat> yes, tell me. Why, why does it? Well, you see, um, I, you know how your socks get lost in a laundry? Well, this happens to my pants all the time, just while I'm standing there. And they, and they never come back, so I figured why even wear pants anymore? <sighs> Um, yes, that's wonderful, but uh, I don't believe you at all. I think you just don't like to wear pants. No, it's a real problem. Many people across the world have this issue, and their pants disappear. So I wanted to prove this, because I feel my other clothes are going to be doing this soon. When they left my body, they disappear, and I cannot put them back on. Surely you jest. That's ridiculous, sir. <laughs> I don't believe you anyway about your shirts and um, about your pants, for that matter. Okay, maybe I'll have to prove it to you by taking my shirt off on the program. My shirt here on the television program today. Would uh, it be prudent if I was to remove the shirt? You think I could do that right here on the show for you today? Well, I give it to you and you'll oh, notice it will disappear. Oh. It'll be gone. Like, disappear from my body completely. Uh, mainly because you've taken it from me. But uh, I feel that other people will Call in and write letters right, and get down. to the point. <laughs> Thank you. I will do that. I will take off my shirt now. So, um, uh, anyway, let's go on with the show. Now, sir, gentlemen, why did my voice always change when I do this? Why do I never have the same voice? I don't know. Why? Anyway, I'm going to take my shirt off now. So, yeah, da da, yeah, da 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 da. Here, now, you take my shirt. Now, yes, could you hold that for me, oh. okay? Yes, um, Why yeah, so put weird. it away. Yeah, right here, I'll give it to the cameraman. I don't trust you. I think you'll do something silly with it. And I'll stand here with my nearly naked body for all to see. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, good for you. Yeah, yes, yeah, thank you. Um, anyway, so, as you'll notice, my shirt is gone. The cameraman cannot find it, as you have noted yourself. He will not uh, find the shirt. It has disappeared, and I must leave the studio now with no clothes except for my underwear and my boots. Um, I hope you're happy now that I have proven this to you. You will not make fun of me anymore, and other people out there in the audience can understand they are not alone with this problem of disappearing clothes. Um, are you satisfied now with this situation of mine? This problem I have? I hope you are. <laughs> sir, you are funny as shit. I think you should go. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. Okay, see you later. Bye. Hey, weirdos. It's Riot. It's Terrible Tuesday. I mean, I never actually get around to doing these on Tuesday, but, you know, it's funnier when I say it. I think this is actually a Tuesday now when I posted this, so awesome. Just having a snack. Peanut butter crunch bar. So, it's the end of January, 2023. I just bought groceries today. I have no more money in the bank now. It'll get me through in a little while. But I have no money coming in because I'm not working again. <sighs> and uh, that means when this gross is over, I will officially be a starving artist. We made it, Mom! Officially starving artist. So yeah, welcome. But don't worry, I know everyone else is doing rough out there too. So... You know what's happening at the end of March? I hear it's the Terrible Fest. No longer Terrible Two Day Fest, it's Terrible Three Day Fucking Fest. So there's three days and six movies plus a whole uh, hour and a half block of short films as well, as well as other short films thrown in between. And every film is only $2 a piece. 
the money from one of those films is all going to go to the Annex Cat Rescue, um, and that'll be explained later. <laughs> and um, there's also going to be now, officially, as of this launch, passes for the three days at super, super discount. I mean, you're only spending $2 a film anyway, so what is that? Six times two is 12 bucks, but... For only six sixty six, because it's Terrible Fest six. So six dollars and sixty six cents, you get a pass for the whole damn thing, all three days. And if you go to the Killer Balloon screening that would normally have the donations on it, I will make the donation for you. I'm that broke, and I'm still willing to do that, because I just want these people to have their film seen. I want them to all be in good reasoning. And the guys who made Killer Balloons. All their films they make up in Calgary, they give all the money for their screenings, for their no-budget films, to the uh, SPCA in that area. So, I figure I'd give it to some cats as well. I've got enough hair on my shirt from having a big fluffy cat, so why not do the same? <laughs> so, yeah. So if you are in the Toronto area and you think you might make it out, even if you don't think you'll make it to all six movies, well, still get the pass. $6.66, man. I will still at least donate some of that to the cat rescue. And um, the rest of it will go to make us afford to be able to do the damn show. Appropriate! Don't you think? Well, since you guys are hanging out in my cupboard, um, I figured I better show you what else we've been doing today. Uh, Robert Hoffman and Morgan, Morgan from WC Archive, and Robert Hoffman who appears in many of our films on there, which you can see all of our films in full on our Patreon. Or you can buy some of the upcoming Blu-rays of them. We've had DVDs in the past, but uh, Golden Ninja Video will be releasing at uh, the end of March the um, Rock and Roll Asylum and Amityville Outhouse double bill. And Colton Classic Podcast will be releasing a super special edition of our Muppet Pastor and uh, Salt and Snake Man Blu-ray on there with funny slipcover and poster and wacky things hidden inside there. Um, they're a little expensive, but they're made to order for those ones because they're fancy out of California. So uh, let's keep an eye out for those too. Hoffman appears in all of those to some extent, or at least he voices over something with his son. <laughs> Yeah, Hoffman's also out of California, but no coincidence. I mean, no, coincidence. Yes, that's the word. Totally coincidence. Um, anyway, <laughs> off tracking. Morgan, Hoffman, myself, earlier <laughs> did a video for Patreon. Where that's another thing you can get on there. But I'm going to give you a 10 minute sample of it. <laughs> because it's ridiculous and only really true sadists and crazy people who love our stuff would go and do the whole 30 minutes of it. But um, the video is probably a little over 30 minutes, but the, what we watch is a <laughs> VHS special made to look like a pilot for a television series, I don't know what they were thinking of, to advertise the kid's toy slash cooking utensil, the Easy Bake Oven. It's called the Easy Bake Club. Uh, which to me sounds like it should be spoofed into some sort of stoner film. I think the theme song should have been covered by Cypress Hill. <laughs> anyway, I'll probably make that, I probably already did make that joke when I did that, I don't remember. So you're gonna get the first 10 minutes of it, but if you want to see all 30 odd minutes of it, um, it will be on our Patreon, because uh, that's for you true hardcores out there. My weirdos. You guys, you're my weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Take a look and I'll be right back. Well, okay, I'll be back in like 10 minutes. It's all party. Welcome to a extra special feature of uh, rubbing I'm my in nose. An, I'm in an oven. Yeah, it's an oven. I'm, I'm That's pretty in awesome. my brain. Should I do a, uh, hold on, let's see. Can I do a thing? Can I get a? I'm a baked potato. I think, I think I your garage some... is crazy enough as it is, Robert. I don't know if you need a backdrop. Well, I'll just hang back here the whole time and you can just have Right. Well, later on, people can well, edit their own background. Yeah, we can comp things in there. Yeah, or the well, fans. These, can. Like... People can download and do that. Mm. You know, the fans, whoever they are. <laughs> the whole video. Oh, what's going to happen is Robert's just going to make that noise. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you that ten minutes of this, I don't. I'll probably cut this garbage out. But <laughs> good. Good. but the other. Like, Ted, can you first change my voice? Can you do that? You know, yeah. I find it very insulting that in the first five minutes you've already called this garbage. 
that's <laughs> i'll only that's... do that to my own show i would never do that no, to I was, yours Mark. i was yeah, talking but... to me i was talking about me Wait, i don't want to be a part of garbage oh okay unless it's the band dude, you could be, it's like you're only happy when it rains dude you're lucky that you're in an oven right now okay <laughs> it's very warm in here i don't have a lot of time just so we're all clear let's yeah, get through yeah. this quickly okay so Let's this is a bonus feature video, but the first 10 minutes will appear in this week's YouTube video. So it'll have a shout out for you, Morgan, for your next um, WOC Twitch show, which um, <laughs> what's the word I hassled you about that we're like ephemera. Uh, uh, yeah, right. It, it was basically thrown away garbage. that's other people's treasures to a basic sense of the word. Um, yeah, so pretty crazy stuff. We're going to be playing a tape that sarita who is in the void here beside me got from a uh, antique shop it is hi sarita <laughs> hoffman says hi this time hi. There it is. <laughs> hi. but i didn't even realize the psychic on that his name was valentine yeah perfect for february i know uh, right it's it's a recording of a psychic called valentine and he did a reading for uh for a couple and they recorded it and they got a commemorative tape and then obviously they gave it away so now we have it so we don't even know any of these people involved but we're going to uh yeah we just see right through it just I like know. just like all your lies morgan <laughs> why anyway, we'll uh we'll post a picture later but you'll have to tune in to see it what i will be doing before the sh before that one though i'll be um talking about some films that i passed up on that are worth noting from terrible fest so you have to tune in for that but what you'll also have to tune in for and maybe i'm actually going to turn my background off for this for a second because um <laughs> none all right because i'm also going to show you this box that um maybe two winters ago we found on the curb it was just postcards of cats oh but i opened it up and it wasn't Oh. First one was this okay. is a card with oh, nothing. Look at those! It's just a picture oh. of two cats. Are they looking out a window? Wait, wait, wait! wait, wait. I want to see more. They're looking at a door. Oh, oh. oh that's cute. Oh, and, it, and it's painted. It's very nice. It, you know, it's. I believe it's a photo that's painted over. Oh, so it's like less impressive. Just, sort of. I mean, Tear it up. Throw it away. G give it to your enemy. <laughs> I almost stabbed three in the head with it. But then inside the rest of it was a bunch of other really tacky cards for any holiday. So we'll go through the rest of those on your show, but I'm going to show you one more. Okay. This one says, um, it smells funny, makes a lot of noise, and depends on you for everything. And then you open up the card and it says, but enough about your husband. Congratulations <laughs> on the baby. And like you know that's the kind of garbage and there's like 20 cards in here so oh, right so yeah. you know it, it would be only better if they were all uh written to somebody and they were somebody's <laughs> thrown away cards there were ones that came in they were gonna use and they decided no these are too tacky yeah so they this threw is them away much. and i kept them <laughs> you guys ever seen those um hallmark books that robert crumb did in like the early 70s or late 60s for some Hallmark. reason, I had two of them as a kid, and I didn't realize until I was a teenager who Robert Crumb was. But they all had like really goofy, kind of absurd situations. And then the last thing would always be like, but not as much as I miss you. <laughs> It'd still be like, uh, some, you know, Yo, no, no, it was always easy thing. Off the wall stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was super weird stuff anyway. But I was like, oh, guy had to eat, you know, the guy was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he talks a lot about that, about being a, feeling so soulless for doing those kind of things. I love Corporate that stooge. documentary. That documentary is so much fun, uh, but also kind of upsetting. Kind of? Just yeah, kind of? A, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. And the fact that he has two brothers that are weirder than him. That's the thing to take away. Had, but had speak, two brothers. Yeah, and then, now he's yeah, the yeah, only one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good times. Woo. Good <laughs> but let's get on to something happy. Yeah. Let's watch a children's video that is seemingly unlogical, uh, brought to me by Hoffman himself. He's yeah. the one who had his hands on this and yeah. uh, put it in my life. The Easy Bake Club, a half an hour advertisement for Easy Bake Oven that makes it seem like a pilot to a TV series. God, I only wish. Can you imagine the series that would be from this? Uh, you haven't I've seen any of this yet, Morgan. So no, I have not seen any the of the acting, the true it's, acting quality. Okay, there's some I can't good, wait. There's some really good, and but it also um, 
asks a lot of very cosmic questions <laughs> like how fucking long did it take them to bake all those goddamn cookies? You only make one at a Sorry, time. wait. That's that. That's you consider a that a cosmic? That's, a, that's a cosmic question. Well, he was hoping they were making. How like long did it take cookies. to bake all these cookies? Is a cosmic question for you? Well, like a cosmic question is also what you're gonna do with all that junk, all that junk in that trunk. <laughs> so I, mean, I guess that's true. true. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Morgan, in I I put you in charge with the buttons. So uh, just press play. All right. Fine. Uh, scratch my ear. Listen, girlfriend, have you heard? Listen, girlfriend, have you heard? We're getting together to spread the word. Run! <laughs> no, we're three adult men why. watching this. Thing. <laughs> that the so oven, it's simple as pie. Can I turn this? There we go. Yeah, The cocaine gang. <laughs> the yeah, I bet you're baked. <laughs> yeah, Cypress Hill should have redone this theme song. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know I'm baking, loco? Jennifer! Hon, have you seen Jennifer? I think she's outside. I thought that was a mover. Gross. She's married to a mover? <laughs> I mean, uh-huh. I what's, had wrong? Friends. what's wrong with movers? Movers gotta eat. Know, just, movers gotta I have kids. <laughs> movers gotta move their own house. Movers gotta move. <laughs> Do you know you're allergic to fun? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go play with those kids? I would if I wasn't wearing this exoskeleton under my shirt that didn't allow me to move. <laughs> Like watching night like uh, love boat again last night that was an episode and just how you feel, oh boy the, the scoliosis boat. episode the same thing for i don't think i've ever have watched a single episode of the love boat Dad started have you out. seen jock what's his name from twin peaks as the weird obsessive guy who's exciting too. creeping on julie the whole time i feel like every guy she creeps on julie every time it's a late episode too and it was funny because i talked about lauren twos a little bit and oliver was watching the episode and it was Julie's response, and Oliver You're said, uh, "I don't know. I gotta wait. go snort some cocaine, though." And I was like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, she's she's got the bloat right now." Yeah. That's that's I can't watch the last ep- later episodes for that. Hey, Ted McGinley, he fucking kills everything good. So I like the way he's setting this up as if it's a plot to a sitcom because they've just moved into town. This girl doesn't okay. have any friends. She's gonna learn. to no, with your friends, but getting baked with them. Like what was that? Hey, is that a brand new Easy Bake Oven? Or does she just keep her box? Yeah, I think she That's just keeps tra- the box. She just I think she has a box. travel. She has a travel edition too. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's underpants. <laughs> well, yeah, because we have to point out you can only cook one cookie at a time in those things, but they look and pretty that, good. It, did, did any of you, either of you, have one? Like, no, do do either sister, of you guys have my sister? sister had one? No, yeah. my sister. Had yeah, one. I didn't have yeah, a sister. Yeah. So. I neither do I. So and yeah. Hello, so it was like a twelve volt here? light bulb in there, no and it literally takes like forty minutes for oh, one just cookie. Like just wait, man. I mean, it, it is unlogical, as Mister Riot Thorn would say. <laughs> I'm just gonna steal this person's dog that's left here. Yeah, it had the I leash know on you were it. chained up, but you're going with me. Yeah, <laughs> love this. 80s sitcom music though. All they do is play patty cake. So they should bake cakes. I hi, I guess. I mean, let's get high. But maybe this is actually the beginning of Skinamarink. <laughs> All they're gonna the do most, is the most. Sure. Okay, you. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna work on one. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try I've one. Seen <laughs> most frightening bass rattling shit you've ever paid money for. Skinkamamonk. Yeah, it's really good. Skinkamamonk. Skinkamamonk. I watched the trailer. Do I have to watch the movie? So just like how guys pick up girls, 
young just, girls make friends with a, saying, I have a dog, phone. but they're like, it's not my dog. Gee, I stole it. Voodoo witch, witch you put my dog her. down with a touch. Has she had shots? <laughs> yes, shots? now I'll kill you. No, don't. Has she, has she had shots? Kill you. My name's Dora. Hey, Did she just take that dog? How would she know if they ha it had shots? Yeah, she doesn't know. Hi, cutie. Can I rub oh, lotion cookie. on your scabies? Why cookie? Because my mom owns a catering business. Oh, he's got an address. He's from she's Tijuana. Her mom owns a catering business, but she's still just going to cook one cookie at a time. <laughs> so I fed her some sugar cookies. You two are squares. Hi, cookie. Do you like getting high? I'm Alex. What's your name? I fed I the dog some like. sugar cookies. What That's why the dog's do? laying on the ground now. Uh, Jennifer! Oh, you're starting to cook now. <laughs> I gotta go. Can you watch me? I gotta go do some hide the dog bullshit. Bye. I'm steaming. Oh, Every fucking uh, sitcom. <laughs> sidewalk is definitely oh, steaming in a second. Yeah, that dog's a pooper. I guess I guess Full House had oh. a dog, so they never had to like oh. hide a dog. But I know Webster Daniel did. Fuller's white dog. <laughs> that looks so <laughs> weird when your your background <laughs> doesn't see. show up. You Just girls? you're turning How into smoke. You know Mother's intuition. Mm. I saw Let me guess. Window. You've soiled your overalls again. Carrie and Alex, they're really I always nice. soil my overalls. See how easy it is to meet people when you make up your that's mind. That's because hey, you're a member of some... mayhem. You just dig Focus! Them. Yeah, so that's uh, Easy Bake Oven. Um, <laughs> if you do want to see the rest of it, like I said, it's on our Patreon. You can search for Patreon Riot at the Movies. Uh, Patreon.com slash Riot at the Movies. This may be the most important video you will ever see. So pay attention. Now, I know that you are concerned about being taken over by aliens. Who isn't? But, like everything else, there are good aliens and bad aliens. Now, we've all heard that your dog is the best judge of character, and when it comes to people, that's probably true. But, when it comes to extraterrestrials, that's right. Only the possum knows for sure. Po uh, yeah. Or, you know, when you're there, you can join up and you can get to see advanced things that we show behind the scenes of our movies. If you're a fan of our films, hopefully, uh, I would hope so, because why the fuck else are you here? Well, you know why else are you here? It's because me and Morgan, and sometimes Bob and I, um, who Bob's appeared in a lot of my films in the past, but he's farther away now, so we do some audio podcasts once in a while, and uh, Morgan and I do a show. And uh, we usually have it on the Twitch page for WOC Archive, sometimes here on the YouTube page uh, for Riot at the Movies, and sometimes at my Twitch page, I just don't use that much, but um, where we show clips of stuff, lost media. I usually show weird films or clips from weird films, underground stuff, no budget. That's the stuff I like to support, and that's the stuff I want to have the world get a chance to see since most Alien passes in front of Possum. Possum just keeps doing what it was doing. Phew! <laughs> Big relief! Have the world get a chance to see, since most of these people are making those on DVD at home or putting their own digital downloads available and only advertising to the limited audience that they have through their social media. So I want them to spread out because this root down, backyard, do it yourself, hanging out with your buddies, making something is so much more passionate if it's not just crap and made um, with nothing with shoestrings let alone a shoestring budget made with actual shoestrings tying things together that's fine because it shows the passion it shows a window into a group of friends and a group of people even if the plot is the most ridiculous fucking thing in the world because often for me the more ridiculous the better because when you're doing it totally yourself, there's no one to tell you no. Um, this is meaning, you know, if you wanted to make money off of it, maybe someone should. But if you weren't, and you just wanted to do it, that's the way to fucking do it. And so, that's what I show. Morgan um, brings stuff from WOC Archives with original commercials. So, classic television things, some lost media. In fact, even this month, we have a show on that's going to stream on Twitch. And I'll show some clips of on one of my later videos this month. Um which, as of after today, will be February 2023. Uh, but the February show for the WOC Twitch page will be involving a tape that I got from a uh, antique shop. But it wasn't really an antique. It was just an audio tape that someone had given 
to them, and it was a recording from someone's personal session with a psychic. <laughs> and I've never listened to it, so Morgan and I are going to listen to it together and mock it. We'll probably cut it down, because I think it's like 25 minutes long. And then he'll play some other uh, lost media, maybe some lost pilot for a TV show that never went anywhere. Not unlike Easy Bake Oven. However, Easy Bake Oven came to us from Hoffman. He found that. He's one of the only people who has that on the internet. That's on his YouTube page. Wherever hidden weirdness is on there. <laughs> but, anyway. Um, we're back soon. Hope we'll see you soon. And... We'll talk more about Terrible Fest coming up. But before we do that, why don't I add in one of the trailers from one of the Twailers. Twailers? Who says Twailers? I do. I say Twailers. <laughs> one of the trailers from one of the upcoming films. So, I put this one on my Instagram a little while ago, but uh, why not? Let's uh, see the full trailer for Cocaine Snorting Crabs from Outer Space. That'll be playing on the second day. Close the night out. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> Buy your uh, passes. See? Join our Patreon. See? There or it is. Or just click like That's on fun. this. Subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Say, hey, what's up? And I'll uh, get the rest of this uh, chocolate crunchy bar out of my teeth. Go brush your teeth, too. Yeah, I wanted to talk. Did you like crabs back here? Your faces, crabs. Give them some of your beer. You give them a beer. I'm giving them something way stronger than beer. Detective Reese. Detective Reese, come in. Reese here. All right, what do we got? Captain? Captain? You think crabs are pinching people to death? Well, what's it going to take for you to take this seriously? Get somebody to agree with you. Someone who knows what they're talking about. Alex Bailey, I'm Detective Charlie Reese, and I need your help. Wait, you want to know if a Dungeness crab can kill someone? That's what I'm aiming to find out. Is that alcohol? That's classified. Newsflash, these are not normal crabs. How in the hell did that stay unprocessed inside of that crab? What is it? Coke. Cocaine? You have absolutely got to be kidding me. Is that what I think it is? Evidently, these are space crabs. Hold the course, Miss Bailey. We've got some coke snorting space crabs to wrangle. Oops. Oops, my ass. I'm not afraid of these things. They just look like a bunch of plastic toy crabs. I kid, I kid. <laughs>